official schedule in the ball game are Ray Norris and Joe Reed. That's who are uh, scheduled to be in. Brian Fichter against the six foot nine Noss. The tip is by Noss. Double tipped it and out of bounds. It'll be Princeton's ball in front of Coach Gary Duncan. Well, the 1984 5 season's underway. Joel Warren, the big 6'5 veteran ball player, is going to put it in play in a man to man type press. Ball comes into Cundiff. Straight man to man, Rich. Southridge open up man to man uh, against Princeton. Princeton probably looking zone, but it's man to man all the way. Here's Arnold on hitting it off to Victor in the high post. Two men on him. Back over to Arnold. He fires. Look out, folks. A little bit off the mark. No good off the glass. Long pass down. Up goes Yoakum. He got it. Yoakum, who led this ball club in scoring last year as a sophomore, put Southridge on top. Well, Arnold took the shot, Rich, and uh, didn't get back on defense, and Yoakum got an easy two points, put Southridge on top here. Here's the ball to Warren in the forward spot. Warren dumps it off in the circle. McQueen up with a five-footer off the glass. Got it. Good move by McQueen. Matt McQueen, Rich, got the ball inside, took it right to the defense, used that glass, and uh, tied this ball game up to all. It is 2-2. Princeton into a tight zone press. It is out front into the hands for Southridge to Patberg. He flips it off to the forward to his brother, Rick Patberg. No good. The rebound's taken off. Oh, nice steal. Up goes the jump shot on the steal. As Ron Steinhardt at 6-2 or 6-3, was in under and he drew the foul off of Matt McQueen. Well, Princeton opened up after they scored in a 2-2-1 zone pressure. Warren at six foot five, Rich at the front end, him and Arnold. Warren at 6'5 is going to cause a lot of problems for a lot of small guards here in the early going of this ball game. It'll be Ryan Steinhardt to the line. He's a veteran and just a junior. He's a left-hander. The free throw. It is off no good. And it's still a 2-2 ball game. The ball game is a minute old. He'll have another one from the unguarded line. On its way by Steinert, and it's good. Southridge on top, 3-2. It'll be Arnold to Warren. Warren's going to bring the ball up. They have Cundiff into the left forward spot, and the ball comes to Cundiff. Back to Warren. Princeton being patient. Warren's side of the circle. Back over to Arnold. Good move. Fakes. Back out, it comes to Warren in the free throw lane. Under the basket, beautiful pass to Cundiff. Ball batted away on the shot. Stolen by Southridge. Long pass, comes down to Patberg. He's going to slow it down as Rick, one of the twins, will bring it back out front. Good play by Patberg, Rich. He backed it out because 6'5 Warren was there on defense. And he fired it over to twin brother Ron Patberg, and he bombed it in from the forward. Hey, it's 5-2, to two, the Raiders. Joel Warren hasn't thrown one up yet. In to Victor, neither is he. Back over to Arnold. Arnold in under to Warren. Bad pass, and it's taken by Pat Berg out of bounds. I think Southridge is fired up. Well, oh, Rich, they know that they, Jerry Duncan told me before the ball game that his club just doesn't play good in this gym. Hasn't played good since 81. He said they're looking for a big game here tonight. In to Big Victor. Brian fires it up. No good. A five-footer. Batted away. Rebound Raiders. Here they come. It is Steinhardt down the lane. Look out. Kind of bumped him on the way down. So Cundiff hasn't got untracked. Arnold hasn't got untracked. Victor hasn't got untracked, nor has Warren got untracked. Early minutes of the opening ball game. 5-2 Southridge, the Raiders with the ball out front. The Twins handling it, Pat Berg. Ron goes into the corner to Steinert. Back to Ron, over to Rick Pat Berg. Back to Ron. Ron against the zone press. Into the corner, now to the big tall, Andy Noss, 6-9. Steinert, back around, Princeton's defense tough, shot in the corner, off, no good, a rebound in under, up goes a layup by Pat Burke, no good, and a rebounding foul against Pat Burke. Well, Rich Victor blocked the shot and uh, really got on the boards, and then Pat Burke committed a personal foul. Number 20, it's Ron Pat Burke trying to go up on the boards against big Brian Victor, and uh, the foul was committed. Southridge is really crashing the boards, and uh, that's going to be one of the uh, dim spot to Princeton. They can get on the boards uh, against this Southridge ball club. Princeton up court with the ball, trailing 5-2. Off to McQueen into the forward spot. Looks for Warren down the lane. Break away, lays it up, overshoots, no good. A whistle offensive foul. Well, the quarterback had broken down the lane, got in the ball, went up off the glass, overshot it, and then committed an offensive foul. It's going to be the Raiders ball. Princeton's into the zone press. Southridge Rick Hatberg puts it into his twin brother Ron. Right back to Rick. Back over to Ron. To Rick. It is a Patberg show at this point. They dump it off to Noss into the forward. 
Back out it comes at a guard spot. Rick hails it. Back to Steinhardt. Back in under the big boy. Batted away. And he could not hold on to it. Andy Noss couldn't hold on to it at 6'9". Victor intimidated a little bit. Victor was behind him. McQueen dropped off and uh, was fronting him. That's good defense on the 6'9". Noss, the ball was overthrown out of bounds. Turnover by Southridge. Here's uh, Warren driving into the baseline. Two men on him. They check him. Cross court. McQueen up for the five-footer. Good. He fouled. He used his left hand. Oh, much improved. Matt McQueen looks good here in the early minutes. I tell you, Rich, he was open, got a good pass, and uh, went right for the bucket. Knew he was going to get fouled. Shot the ball with the left hand, banked it off the glass, got it to go down. And the foul was on uh, 52. That's Noss' first personal foul. Two team fouls for Southridge in the early going. All right, it'll be Matt McQueen towing the free throw line. He's the senior. It is a five-man senior ball club this year. Free throw, it is bouncing, bouncing, no good. Big rebound under the basket by Yoka. Yoakum has a basket for the Raiders. It's to Steinert. Back out to Patberg. Patberg back over to Steinert and the right forward. Checked out there by. Back over in the corner. Open. Patberg fires. It's overshooting. No good. A rebound. Up, up, up. And it's good by Yoakum. Todd Yoakum in the right place at the right time. That's four points. Well, Rich Cundiff's on this side on the defense, and uh, he hadn't quite learned to play the forward position yet. He needs some time there. Uh, got caught out of position for the rebounding purposes. Here's Warren in a lot of traffic, throwing the ball away under the basket, went up for the shot, and Warren got into a little bit of traffic, threw the ball away, but a foul was called against Southridge. Andy Noss, the big 6'9 boy, has committed his second foul. Duncan may go to his bench. Yep. That time, Rich, Warren overcommitted himself and uh, got caught out of position, but uh, the foul was committed. Here's a pass into Victor, and he misses the five-footer off of the glass. Rebound Southridge. Down court they come. It'll be Rick Patberg. Now to under the basket to the other Pat Berg, and Brian Victor is all over it. They come back out. Shot in the corner. It is in and out. Yoakum no good, and he's fouled by McQueen in the corner. I want to tell you something. Brian Victor was like a mother hen over him under the basket. That'll be the second foul on McQueen. And now checking into the lineup for the Raiders is Mike Hillsmeyer, a 6'2 junior. Anybody that checks in other than Ted O'Brien is a junior. Anybody that checks out other than O'Brien is a junior for Southridge. You know Duncan has to like this ball club. Into the corner it comes to Yoakum. Deep into the corner they go to Steinhardt. Back out front to Pat Bird. Back over to Steinhardt. He takes a left-hander from way out. Overshoots, no good. A rebound. It is uh, McQueen. Or, excuse me. It is Cundiff. Cundiff's down, traveling with the ball. Yep. Caught him traveling. And uh, Gary Duncan was trying to do a little officiating over there. As if to say maybe an offensive foul, but it could be traveling. And Duncan with a big smile on his face. Oh, you got to like him. Ball comes now. It is a 7-4 ball game. Southridge there on top. Into the corner. It's to the hands of uh, Hillsmeyer. Around deep in the corner. Patberg from Patberg, and they can't hold on to it. A big turnover. Now Princeton can cut into that three-point lead with a basket here with 340 to go in the first quarter of the ball game from the middle school gym in Princeton. It's the opener of the 84-85 season on FM 98. We'll have college basketball and high school basketball. Robin Gooch off in the wing, OCC center. Watching this ball game, he ought to have a good year this year. There's a foul on Patberg, Hawk and Arnold in the corner. First foul on uh, Rick Patberg. That's a fourth first quarter foul on Southridge. Princeton has committed four first quarter fouls. Oh, I'm wondering which official's going to take the ball out. Both of them standing over out front. And now the uh, uh, wider haired official's going to take it out down here in front of us. We call it gray hair. Okay, here's Warren to put it in play. Way back out front, it comes to Cundiff. The corner to McQueen, back now to Arnold. Now to Victor, back over to Arnold, gets the screen, goes up with a shot. He's tough from there, he misses from there. Tipped up, Cundiff, boy does he battle. He takes the rebound again, he's tied up. Cundiff, at six foot one, plays like he's six three, six four. I tell you, he really gets on the boards, Rich, and just got an eye for the ball, knows where that ball is gonna be. As you said, at six foot one, he jumps like he's six three or six four. See what he can do is he goes up against Hillsmeyer, tip taken by Cundiff over to McQueen. Back out to Arnold, back over to McQueen in the forward. Now under to Arnold, he's tough there. He's working under the baseline, up with the left-hander. Overshoots, no good. Princeton's having trouble hitting the basket. They've scored only four points. We're down to three minutes to go in the first quarter. It is 7-4 Southridge. Patberg to Patberg, into the corner. To Ste or rather to uh, Yoakum. 
to Pat Berg. Picked up by Arnold. They dump it around into the forward of Pat Berg. Back in there. Good move by Hillsmeyer. Goes to the layup, and he's fouled by Warren. Victor, I think, wasn't it? Was it Victor? 41, Victor. Victor commits uh, foul number one. That is five first quarter team files on the Tigers. Mike Hillsmeyer, 6'2", junior. Will go to the line with 2.45 to go in the first quarter for the Raiders. They had a fine football program this year under uh, first-year head coach Brett DeVault. They expect a lot out of this basketball team. Free throw, it is bouncing around no good. Some say, don't be surprised as the year goes along that this Southridge team as juniors don't do something. It is up by Hillsmeyer. It is good. It is an 8-4 ball club. Well, Rich Prince has been stuck on four points. McQueen's got two field goals and having trouble hitting the basket here and it's early going. Here's Victor turning jumper. Boom! Finish good from the free throw line. Brian Victor cuts the lead to two. And now it's going to be a blocking foul on Arnold. As he went after the ball. Boy, Brian Victor looked like Brother Brad on that shot. They play similar, they look alike. They'll go to the free throw line with a 1 1 situation. Mark Palmer, newly elected representative of the 64th District, down talking with uh, Sheriff Ballard. Free throw, it is good, probably talking about the congressional race. That's the honey in the news right now. Ooh, it is tight. Free throw, it is good, and it becomes a 9-6 ball game. Pat Berg will try another one, and he misses. Ron misses, rebound Arnold. Arnold in a little traffic, comes dribbling out, keeps it alive. Starts to drive, and he's fouled. Hey, Arnold, Rich, it's Arnold's a uh, character, and uh, he kind of, I tell you, he gets, <laughs> once he gets going, look out, he goes wide open. That time, he got a good loose ball rebound and uh, started to dribble out there, had some pressure, just took it to the out to the baseline, and uh, foul was committed by number 20, Pat Berg, and that's two on Pat Berg here in the early going. Well, we're down to 2.27 to go in the first quarter. It's not been a big scoring quarter. It's 9-6. to six. Now, Arnold uh, can get into the scoring column for the first time this year, and this kid was quite a scorer for Beatles Reserves last year. Averaged about 14 points a game and uh, really did a good job. Really uh, controlled the offense out there, played the point guard, did a lot of scoring for Jeb Beatles last year. Phil, Phil Park will come in uh, for uh, Jerry Duncan's ball club, and he's a junior also. Yeah, a lot of juniors. Free throw by Arnold, in and out, no good. Arnold misses his opportunity, and Southridge comes to the offense. Off into the hands to Steinhardt. Back around the horn, into the corner to a Pat Berg. They go back to Pat Berg, directing traffic now to the top of the circle. Steinhardt back to Pat Berg in the corner. In there, the turning jump shot. It is up by the fellow that just came in. Fixers off of the rebound. Long pass to Warren. He may have overthrown. Wild pass back in by Warren, and it's going to be taken by Southridge. Steinhardt across the stripe for the Raiders. Goes to Pat Ridge. Into the keyhole. Fixer deflects. Recovered by Arnold. Long throw down to Warren. Good move. Lays it up. Got it. And a foul called on the play. Warren can be plenty tough coming in from the right-hand side of the basket. Warren's first basket of the year, Rich, and uh, he needed something to get on track. That's two quite straight breaks he had. That foul was on number 10, Pat Berg. And that's Pat Berg. Looks like it's uh, second personal. I got him down for three. Maybe it's just two. I guess just two for Pat Berg. And I tell you, uh, Warren on the break was pretty well unstoppable. Barnett will come in. Tom Barnett, a 5'10", also a junior. Barrett. Barnett, Barnett checking in. Yeah, Barnett checks in. The free throw by Warren's good. He makes it a three-point play. It is 9-9, folks. We've got it tied up with a minute 40 to go in the first quarter of the ball game. The Raiders come down across the stripe. They go to the corner. Bringing it back out is Park. Round the horn. They work it now to Yoakum. Back over. Yoakum's their big gun if he can get the ball up there. But, boy, cundiff has been on him pretty good here in the first quarter. Downside the lane. Here's a jump pass back out front into the hands of Hillsmeyer. He fires no good. The rebound batted away. Victor knocked to the floor, and it's going to be Princeton's ball. 
I'll tell you, Rich, Jim Jones complaining. Victor took a pretty good shot in there and went to the floor, but the ball was knocked out of bounds, and Jim was up making helping that official make that call. I want to tell you something. Victor's a horse in there, isn't he? At six foot seven. Working his way around. But down to a minute to go in the first quarter. Now it's into the hands of Victor, top of the circle. Back over Arnold's 20 footer from out. Bouncing, bouncing, no good. The rebound tipped into the hands. The Raiders, they were in the right place at the right time. It is a 9-9 ball game with under a minute to go in the first quarter. Coming up will be Richie. Here's the ball stolen by Warren. Down for the layup. He'll be clobbered under the basket. I mean, folks, Todd Yolkham couldn't have grabbed him any better than the world champion wrestler. I imagine Dennis Goldberg would like to sign that guy up. Oh, Rich, Victor's going to check out and give him a rest, and uh, Richie will come in and and Yoakum just kind of tackled Joe Warren, and Warren uh, was tackled a few times this year in the football program, but... Uh, Here's the 6'5 boy with a couple of free throws up. Look out, the first one's off the lip of the iron, no good. Warren has uh, three points here in the first quarter of the ball game. It's still 9-9. As we come down to the final 48 seconds, Warren will have another one. He's a veteran senior. It is up. It is good. It is a 10-9 ball game. Princeton now leads for the first time in a ball game. Southridge will bring it across the stripe. Barnett trying to hustle. There is uh, Warren putting the pressure on him, but he does throw the ball across the line to Yolkham. Into the forward spot to Steinert. Steinert will handle it off into the forward spot. Half a minute to go. Into the corner. Not using it was Hillsmeyer. Hillsmeyer holding the ball. Kind of jumps out on him. Hey, Rich, it's Warren quick out front, I tell you, reaching in foul from the back side, but I tell you, he is very quick. Him and Cundiff on this side make it real tough on the offense. Warren commits his second foul, and he's reaching in from around behind, and those aren't the type of fouls that uh, Jim Jones wanting his uh, star guard to commit here in the first quarter of the ball game. Oh. Victor is being rested, and into the lineup is uh, Jim Ritchie. Good move by uh, Jim Jones, Rich, to get Victor on the bench. Let him rest this extra uh, minute or so. Richie gets in, gets his feet wet here, but uh, Victor, the big fella inside, him extra couple of minutes rest really pay off the end of the ballgame. Free throw is up and good by Barnett. He ties the ball game at 10-10. 23 seconds to go in the first quarter. He could put him ahead with the extra free throw. It is up. It's no good. A rebound taken by McQueen. Dumps it off to Warren at the half line. High pass on it. Kind of. He's tough there. He's clobbered. No foul called. Rebound, scramble for it. First and ten under the basket. It is Richie against three of the Raiders. Hey, Richie, Richie won the battle. I tell you, these uh, officials are letting them play a little bit on the. Uh, you go up for a shot, you probably get clobbered. Just pray the uh, whistle blows for a foul, but no foul was called on Todd Cundiff. Okay, so it's going to be Richie jumping at his own free throw line against Barnett. Richie tapes it easy back to Cundiff. Pass over to Warren in the corner. Looking for help. Back out front to Arnold. Eight seconds in the quarter. Now to McQueen. In under to Warren. Dumps it off into the hands of Southridge. They go out of bounds with it with two seconds to go. Good move by Warren Ridge. He knew Cundiff was on the weak side. His jump pass uh, just didn't quite get there. Two seconds to go. Princeton takes it out underneath their basket. Probably trying to get a quick basket here. It'll be to Arnold or Cundiff. Looking. It is out to Arnold. A 20-footer from out front. No good. And that ends. The first quarter of play from the middle school gym. The score after one. It is Princeton 10. This mile, one point apiece. All right, we're ready to tip. The official will go between them. The last first quarter tip was owned by the 6-9 Noss. This one, it's owned by Noss again. As the Raiders come up with the ball, but they throw it back in. It's into the hands of Fichter, and Fichter went back across the line. Hey, I think he thought his basketball goal was the one they warmed up with starting the ball game. He just threw the ball back. Ah, uh, Brian says, I won't make many more mistakes like that. Into the forward spot now. They go in the lane. There's a turning jumper by Yoakum. It's bouncing, bouncing, no good. A rebound, Victor. Victor spreads himself a little bit, gets it out to Warren. They're running, two men on him. The ball batted away from Warren. Here come the Raiders again. Princeton did not have a real good first quarter, but yet they tied it at 10-10. Out front it is to Patberg. Into the forward spot to Steinhardt. Now to Yoakum. Top of the circle to Patberg. Into the lane. Yoakum in under the loss. The big fella fires. Misses. Rebound taken by Victor. He's fouled. And the big boy's got foul number three. 
Well, Rich, good play. Defense wasn't there for Princeton as uh, they moved the ball quickly inside and got it down to Noss. He just missed the shot, and uh, they committed a rebounding foul. So 34, Hillsmeyer will probably check back in for Noss to lead with three personal fouls. Noss checks out the six-foot-niner. He's a junior, and I thought last year Noss looked exceptionally well as a reserve at 6'8". Well, we saw him just in the first ball game of the year uh, over at Southridge, and then uh, heard about him throughout the year. He's really got a lot of talent at 6'9". He's going to do a lot of playing here for uh, the ball club. McQueen takes a rebound shot up on a missed free throw by Fixer. Fixer goes in on the missed shot, and Fixer's all over the back of Hill's mind. So, Brian commits a rebounding foul, and that's foul number two for the 6'6 six, six boy, 6'7. Six, They've got Victor listed at 6'6 six, six and a half. We've got him marked down at 6'7, 200 pounds. He's a senior. To the free throw line, it is Mike Hillsmeyer. Still a 10-10 ball game. It is up. It is good. It is now an 11-10 ball game. Rich from the free throw line, Southridge in the first quarter was four of eight. Now they're five of nine, so free throws really kept in the ball game. It's Princeton's playing the hatchet men out there on the floor here this evening. Hillsmeyer again ready from the line. It is up. It is good. It is a 12-10 ball game. Now the Tigers need a field goal to tie it up. Seven minutes to go in the first half of the ball game on opening night. Arnold with it to Warren into the post to Victor. Back in under to Warren and a little traffic. The ball batted away. Oh, I'll tell you what. Earl Combs, or an elderly gentleman, maneuvered his hands pretty quick to keep that ball from hitting himself. It's a way to get in there, Pillows. The go for the jump ball. Chris Victor got the ball inside, turned with a jump shot, and uh, Yoakum tied him up. So jump ball, Victor and Yoakum will jump it at the Tiger into the court here with seven minutes to go here in the first half of play. I think Jim Jones is going to go down to Dyson and get him into the ball game. The crafty little sophomore is going to check in, and I thought he did a good job, Jeff, passing the ball in the reserve game. Tip's going to be controlled by high. Look at Tunda battle him out of there. Look at him battle. Well, it's another first and ten, folks. <laughs> penetration brought the defense towards him he bounced past it to Warren Warren uh, baseline and a six foot five he either get fouled or get the basket so Warren will go to the free throw line he has uh, scored four points McQueen has scored four and two by Victor and that's been all the scoring in the ball game Princeton's about two for five at the free throw line free throw by Warren it is good it is 12 to 11 seven minutes to go in the first half he'll have another one Cox's arm, the free throw. Ooh, the luck of the Irish. Off of the iron, off of the glass, and it's in the net. He got the roll. You betcha. Comes around. Long pass into the corner for Southridge. Under the basket. Wide open up, and he's stopped by Kunda. Mike Hillsmeyer was wide open under the basket for a split second. Kunda closed the gap and committed the personal foul. And Kunda says, if I'm going to foul him, I'm going to foul him. Or at that time, it was just his own press, and that's what kind of is playing. You know, he's always played guard uh, throughout his career now, and then moved to the forward position. As soon as he learns all the ins and outs of getting back on defense and learning that forward position, he'll make an outstanding forward. Free throw, it is up, and it is good. Six and a half minutes to go here in the first half of the ball game. It is 13 to 12. Raiders, Hillsmeyer Rich with five, with four points, four or five from the free throw line, looking to make it five of six. And he kept Southridge in the game at that free throw line. All right, it is now 14 to 12. Princeton on the short end by two. Dyson and Arnold now back to Dyson, and Dyson makes a bad pass intended for McQueen. And it's going to be the Raiders' ball once again. 
Rick Tatberg across the line, goes into the forward to Yoakum. He can hit from there. He fires, he bounces, misses, rebound by Hillsman. Got it! And Jeff, you're right, he has put him in the game since coming off of the bench. Well, he's got three, seven points and uh, five free throws and a uh, field goal that time. A good offensive rebound in the basket. All right, it is 16 to 12. The Tigers on the short end. It's the Dyson in the forward. Wide open. Takes a 20-footer. No good. Rebound under there. It's going to be scrambling for the ball, and it goes out of bounds. It'll be Princeton's ball. Dennis Goldberg has come up. Boy, he's all enthused about tomorrow morning's meet. He's brought in some tough schools, Jeff. Well, I heard he Lawrenceville and, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Jennings County. Jennings County, Terre Haute South. Big school. So we'll be hearing about that. Now to Warren. Into the forward. Warren across court to Arnold. Doesn't take it. Looks for help. Back out. Dyson. Now in the corner to Warren. Warren in traffic. Jump pass and under to McQueen. Take it away from McQueen. And Southridge is playing good defense. Five and a half minutes to go in the first half. Down the forward spot to Yoakum. Back around the corner. There is Pat Berg open. He fires. No good. A rebound but Pat Berg. Cunders all over him. He scores under the basket. See that, Rich? That uh, Warren, that, or kind of at times, just got caught out of position. He hadn't learned to play the, the deep forward position. As soon as he does, he'll be all right. Timeout. Princeton's got to get a timeout. Well, five minutes to... Well, Princeton down by four. They're going to put the ball in play. Make it six, they are. They're down by six. It is an 18 to 12 ball game. Dyson and Arnold are to guard. It's going to be cut up Warren and uh, McQueen underneath. Now the ball comes into Warren at the free throw lane, and he's fouled. Draws the third foul off of Todd Yolkum. Now Yolkum's going to have to be lifted from the ball game as Phil Park will come back into the lineup. Park comes in and Yolkum has to sit out. Jim Jones now going to go down to his bench. He'll bring number 35 in for the Tigers. And that'll be Dave Turpin. And that's the boy that's selected as the outstanding senior. Interviewed this afternoon on WRAY. Real nice kid, Jeff. We had a chance to talk with him just before he went on the air with Fred. Played freshman sophomore basketball, Rich. Didn't play as a junior year. I think he wrestled and back playing this year. And going to do a good job for Princeton. Kind of going to take a rest. Hadn't quite got on track at the forward position yet. Uh, used to playing guard. It's going to take him a couple of ball games uh, before he can understand what the forward players type of players are supposed to do. Did this Turpin boy wrestle? Uh, one of them Turpins went to the state. That was his brother, I think. Oh, okay. Sam? Yeah. Okay. That's close. Yeah, close. Well, it's 18 to 14. Princeton's cut the lead to four. The Raiders across the stripe under five minutes to go. The ball's going to be batted out of bounds at the half line. Right into the hands of one of uh, Princeton's cheerleaders. And I think it's uh, football queen uh, Pauletta Waldrop. Says, I'm not only a queen, I can handle that basketball. Out front, they work it around. It goes to Pat Burke, into the forward. Rick tries it underneath. The bounce pass recovered by, stolen away by Warren. Here come the Tigers. Off the forward to Arnold. He pulls up, jump shoots. No good off the iron. The rebound's going to be a foul on Warren. Reaching in on Ron Patberg. Well, Rich Arnold just hadn't got on track. He's a fine shooter. He's about 0 for 5 from the field. Uh, that time he shot the ball with a little bit of defense and just missed it hard. Warren getting on the boards on the rebound, committed a rebounding foul. His third person on the ball game. Brian Fichter will check in back in, probably to spell Jill Warren. All right, here comes so Fichter Arnold. in. Arnold is going to set out. Get a chance. So Jones has gone with eight people, the starting five plus Richie, Dyson, and Turpin. And right now, Richie, Dyson, and Turpin. No, Dyson and Turpin are in the lineup. So the Tigers have McQueen, Fichter, Turpin and Turpin and then the two guards would be Dyson and Warren free throw it is good 19 to 14 free throw it is good 20 to 14 again the six-point lead for Southridge four and a half minutes to go in the first half of the ball game pass comes now to Turpin works it over to Dyson now into the forward to Warren Warren clear cross court to Turpin to Dyson now to Warren driving the baseline pulls up shoots Got it. Good shot. Warren's tough from there. He got 10 points, Rich, and he just went baseline, and he's the scorer now on the offense now, and he's got to take the ball to the basket. He's got himself double figures of 10. All right, it is 20 to 16 Southridge. They almost throw the ball away, but a nice recovery on the pass to Phil Park. Caught it like a halfback. 
Southridge comes out front, gives to Steinhardt. Long pass into the corner, tipped out of bounds by the 6'5", Joel Warren. That's what Warren can do, Rich, on the front part of that zone, 6'5". Uh, uh, he can uh, really put pressure on them smaller guards out front. At 6'5", won't be too many guards at his height. So Southridge puts it in at the side of the basket, comes into Patberg. Back to Steinhardt, left-hander throws it up, no good, a rebound by his teammate, turning jump shot, blocked away by Fichter, Fichter takes a rebound. Good job by Fichter, Rich, blocked the ball and then got on the board. Turpin to Warren, back to Turpin, Un off-balance shot, he's foul, offensive foul on Turpin. Three and a half minutes to go, Turpin may have not been able to control his momentum after getting rid of the ball. Well, he was on a break and uh, Warren got the ball right back to him quickly, his feet got a little bit mixed up and... Uh, offensive foul, but the nice pass by Warren, but foul was committed. It is 20 to 16, Southridge. Comes off to Pat Berg. He kicks the ball and recovered by Victor. It goes to Warren. Warren comes down the lane, over to Cundiff. Under driving, driving, and he's blocked, fouled underneath the basket by Pat Berg. And that's the third one on Pat Berg. So both ball clubs committing a lot of fouls here in the first half of the ball game. For the Raiders, Tom Barnett will come back into the lineup. And now I believe a timeout's going to be taken. We've got a timeout down at the court. Some megaphones, and that's donated by one of our sponsors, uh, Ponderosa. Bill Hoffman. Yeah. And company. Wouldn't mind giving away a few stakes? We'd take them. Okay, here's a free throw by Cundiff. It's rolling around, and it's good. And that'll be the first point of the year for a guy that's going to score a lot of points. Todd Cundiff. Rich, he just hadn't got on track as, at the forward position, and as soon as he does, uh, the senior really put the ball in the basket. He, he missed the second free throw, so he's got one point on the 84-85 year. It is a three-point ball game. The Raiders on top by three, with uh, three minutes to go in this first half of the ball game. Hillsmeyer fires the corner, in and out, no good, a rebound, kind of. Here he comes on the move. He can really hustle. Down, beautiful pass to Dice, and up he got it. Oh, what a head fake. What a head fake by number 15. Before the year is over, kind of be back at the guard position. He just got too many moves at the guard. He head faked with the ball. Made a steal here coming up with a steal. All right, here's a wild pass, but recovered by Southridge at the half line. They go to Hillsman. In under. Beautiful pass under the basket. Up goes the jumper by Park. No good. Rebound picture off to Warren. He has Cundiff down. Under the pass to Warren. Over to Warren. Hey, Warren flipped the Cundiff. It never got the Cundiff. The defensive man had it. Warren stole it from him in the air and laid it up. And Princeton is on top by one. Boy, great basketball for the Tigers. 21 to 20. Man, what a play by Warren. Into the corner, Hillsman. That happened so fast you couldn't describe it. Here's a left hand jump shot it up, no good. A rebound by Big Six Six Victor. He dumps it over to Dyson. Dyson down the corner to Cundiff. Cundiff looking. They're into a zone defense. Couple of minutes to go in the first half of the ball game. Princeton on top by one. Into Victor, five foot jumper off the iron, no good. Victor jumps. Rebound lost, taken by Southridge. Into the hands of Park Patberg. Ron Patberg being guarded by Dyson. Gives the ball to Barnett. He fires the corner. No good. A rebound McQueen for the hey, Tigers. That shot of Barnett is way out there. Yeah. Here's Warren. Start stopping. In under to Victor. Boy, he threw that ball by Brian Victor. He may have uh, shuttled past that one a little too hard for Brian. And I don't know if Brian's blessed with the best hands or not. Well, Warren uh, can zip the football. You've seen that in the, during the football season. Now kind of and Dyson are up front. And Warren dropped back in the middle of the zone press. Coming across, we've got a minute and a half to go as Southridge trails by one. Here in the first half, throws the ball away, and again, Warren intercepts. Here comes Warren down, all the way up, got it! Warren put him on top, third, 23 to 20. 14 points for Warren. A minute 10 to go in the first half of the ball game as Princeton owns a three-point lead, and just a moment ago, they were down by three, so they have outscored them six to the baseline, out front. They work it around to Patberg, into the corner to Barnett. Now to Ron Steinhardt. To Patberg, a 20-footer. No good, a rebound McQueen. Throws it out to Warren. Warren comes down hard. Ball stripped away from him. Recovered by Warren. Five-footer, no good. Kind of tips, no good. Kind of tips, no good. Warren tips, no good. Warren tips, good. No basket. No basket. He was fouled underneath. Boy, I want to tell you something. Warren and Cundiff just kept going up at it. 
at any moment you knew it was going to go in. Finally, Warren put it in there. No basket. But it does not count. The whistle had blown. He had been fouled prior to that. 40 seconds to go in the first half. Well, Rich Cundiff at six foot one was up jumping, tipping it in, almost had it to roll. Warren had a couple of tips, finally got it to go down. And uh, really, these officials uh, not real quick on the whistle. All right, they're going to rest Victor. He's tired. They're going to bring in Richie. Warren will check out Rich. Uh, Turpin will check in with 40 seconds to go. Warren playing with three fouls, and Jones doesn't want him to get that fourth personal foul on the cheap call in this last half a minute. All right, he'll have a 1-1 one -one situation from the line. He's got 14. The free throw's good. He's got 15. So Joel Warren started out slow in the first quarter and then has come on here from the free throw line in this second quarter. It is up on its way. It is good. 16. He has 16 points in the half. Warren checks out with three fouls. And back into the lineup for the Tigers, it is Dave Turpin. A half a minute to go in the first half. Princeton on top by five. 25-20. Southridge with the ball out front. They go to Steinhardt. Steinhardt to Barnett. Really, Rich, Southridge has gone cold. They're not afraid to shoot the ball from the outside. They've just gone cold, and Princeton's picked it up and got on top by five. Here's a jump shot in the lane. It is no good as a shot was thrown up by Barnett, and there's a whistle, a foul on Turpin under the basket. Turpin commits uh, the foul. There's been a lot of fouling here in this first half of the ball game. Well, these kids are used to playing uh, on Sunday afternoons down at the park and uh, with no officials. Now they got two men in zebra uniforms. It's a little bit different. Uh, first couple of games, you get the football out of you, and, uh, find out you can't do much bumping. Okay, to the free throw line, it's going to be Mike Hillsmeyer. Free throw, it is up and it's good. It is a 25-21, so the Raiders stay within striking distance. Eight points for Hillsmeyer, Rich, and uh, six points coming from the free throw line. He'll have another one coming since coming off of the bench. It's on its way with the right-handed junior, and it's good, so he looks good here. 25-22, a three-point lead for Princeton. Dyson will be in no hurry. As they come across the line, Princeton on top by three. 14 seconds to go in the half. It is over to McQueen. The forward now to Cundiff. Cundiff baseline. In that a hook shot. Up, got it. Ah, uh, you knew he was going to score. Well, Richie, that time he's got three points. He went baseline, and there wasn't no stopping him. Here come the Raiders. They throw one up. Desperation. Cundiff had three points. Victor had two. And Dyson with two. Okay, we're all set to go for the second half of the ball game. The tip's going to be taken by the Raiders. They come up with it. They're trailing now by five. It is uh, 27 to 22. Off into the wing spot. It comes off for them to Steiner. For the Raiders, they go into the forward spot to Pat Berg. He comes out to his twin brother, Pat Berg. Back to Pat Berg, and Pat Berg hits from the corner. He got a dandy. That'll be nine points in a ball game for Pat Berg. It is a 27-24 Princeton ball game. Now into McQueen at the lane. Back into the forward to Arnold. Back in there to Victor. Works under the basket. He's fouled, and that's number good off of the back of the yard. Brian missing. He'll have another one. Brian uh, scored only two points in the ball game, Jeff, and he's a uh, much better scorer than that. Free throw, it is good, and that's three. Of course, the ball game is not over. 28-24, it's a four-point Princeton ball game. Southridge to the attack. They'll bring it across the stripe. The twin junior guards, Hatberg and Patberg, Rick and Ron. Ball comes off into the forward spot. To, that's uh, Ron Patberg from his brother Rick, back out top of the circle, clear across court in the corner, the jumper by Rick, no, he doesn't get the shot, he started the pass.
this building season. situation to be analyzed, give us a call. It's a two-point ball game as Princeton's on top, but Southridge will go to the free throw line. And uh, the fellow that's been there quite often, uh, Jeff, is ready to throw it again. Well, I think what happened, Rich, on that particular play, Princeton, uh, half of them went a man-to-man -man and part was in his own. And uh, the fact that uh, Hatberg picked up his uh, third personal foul, brother Rick Hatberg also with three personal fouls. 32-32 the score with three and a half minutes to go in the third quarter from the middle school gym. They go to Cundiff in the forward, back out to Warren, keep the corner to Arnold. They have shut Arnold out here in the second half, and under the Fisher, good turning jump shot by Fisher, no good, a rebound. Cundiff travels for it, they're all over his back. He fouled, and Hatberg rips to Joe Maxson. Into the circle, here's the bad pass intercepted, taken away by Hatberg. Here come the Raiders in a tie ball game. In under, jump shot up, no good, Hatberg, rebound, Warren. Warren coming down hard, throws it, a bad pass, and it's taken away. Nice recovery by Patberg, and the Raiders will come up court again. Still tied at 32 off. There's two bad passes by Joe Warren, and uh, Jones got it, doesn't like that out of his uh, senior better. Ball comes into the keyhole, they throw it in under the back, and now Fixer is all over. Is that five on Fixer? I think so. And Fixer fouled out with 2.38 to go in the third quarter. The big 6-7 senior... So Dave Turpin at 6 2 will check in. Good naughty talk to uh, Jones when Fixer picked up his fourth personal foul and uh, left him in. And uh, Fixer fouled out in the, in the first ball game. There was a lot of time left to go in the third quarter. It is 32 32. Free throw will be on its way by Hillsmeyer. Oh, no good. The rebound taken by 6 5 1. And he missed one. Yeah. Gives to Arnold in the corner. Arnold back out to Warren. Back to Arnold. Looking in that there to McQueen going to the pivot under the basket. Now to Arnold. Set, didn't take the shot. He comes back out front. Everybody's wanting everybody to go under the basket. Now in the corner to the serpent. Arnold looking. Arnold can't get the shot. McQueen jumps the serpent in the forward. He fires. He misses. Gets up. No good. Warren. A whistle over the lid. Comes back out front to Arnold. Arnold goes to Warren. Deep in the corner. Back to Arnold. Arnold down with a couple of minutes to go in the third quarter. Under to McQueen, five-footer, and he's got it! McQueen came alive from the baseline. Well, Richie got the first four points in the ballgame for Princeton. Just now got on the scoreboard. Got a good move inside. Turn around, jump shot. Got it to go down. He's got himself six points. 34-32, Princeton. Jumper up now on his way by Yawkum. He's got it again from the side of the circle, and he ties it up. And it's 34-34. 
a minute and a half to go in the third period. Arnold goes to Cundiff in the forward. Back to Arnold. Back to Cundiff. They've jammed the defense in the middle. Down the lane, Arnold. Driving, driving, or rather Cundiff, and he's fouled. Todd Yoakum is one for two at the line. This one is in and out, no good. And this kid is a scorer. He's got a field goal and a free throw in the first half, has not scored in the third quarter. But this 6-1 senior's not through. The free throw, it is good. 35-34 Princeton. Minute 25 to go in the third period. Ron Patberg being hawked by Arnold, dumps it off to teammate into the post. Steiner put the ball to the floor for a dribble. Fans thought it might have been double dribbling or walking. It was not. Out to the post to Barnett. Two men on him. Princeton putting the pressure on wherever the ball is. Down the lane. And the pressure pays off. The one that is an inch taller. That's Ron. Now Arnold picks him up to the half line. He goes back off the forward to Barnett. Deep into the corner. Works it over to Hillsmeyer. Back out to Tatberg. And he's to the line. He has 11 points. The free throw it is good. He has 12 points. And it's all tied up at 35 all. So we're down to 45 seconds to go in the third quarter. Opening night for both ball clubs. Hatberg's free throw is good. That gives him 12, make it 13 for the night. And it's Raiders by one. Turpin, Arnold, over to McQueen. Pass under to Cundiff, intercepted. Princeton's passing lanes have been shut off. Say, hey, Rich, a lot of Princeton playing with a lot of, not a lot of experience, and they're going to make them kind of mistakes and uh, traveling violations. 635 Southridge, but Princeton now could go ahead if they hit from the field. Arnold being picked up by two. Did he travel? He's in a 2 2 1 half court semi pressure type of zone, and uh, Warren, uh, or nobody really came to the basketball with Arnold made the turnover. Southridge has the lead of one. It'll be Barnett handling the ball out front. They go into the lane to Steiner. Two men on him up over Warren. He fires, he misses. Rebound, and look out. A foot memorial. 23. Jim Austell. Custodian out at the high school, working at the middle school gym for the ball game tonight. Been rather busy. 19 points for Joe Warren, Rich, and uh, from the free throw line, he's uh, perfect. Missed one in the first quarter, but he's canned them all since. Free throw, it is up, and it is good. So two free throws by Warren puts Princeton on top, 37-36. Barnett dumps the ball off into the Patberg, into the inner lane. He jump shoots, rolling around, no good. The rebound tipped out to Arnold, and that ends, that ends the third quarter of play here at the middle school gym and Princeton on top by one. We're back in a moment. You walk into any store to buy a simple cartridge of caulk and what do you see? Dozens of different caulks, dozens of names, dozens of claims. But at Wilkinson Bates Lumber Company, you'll find something different. You'll find the one caulk that takes the confusion out of buying and using caulk. Andy North, who will start the uh, fourth quarter with four personal fouls. Warren has four fouls. As I said, Pictures already fouled out, and Patberg with four fouls. We're all set to go. McQueen is doing the jumping, and the tip's going to be controlled by the Tigers. Comes over to Cundiff in the lane, fake. Gives it to McQueen, five-footer. He got it. Steady McQueen puts him on top, 39-36. Good assist by Cundiff Rich, and there's a foul by Hodgson. The free throw line is going to be Patberg. His free throw, it is rolling around. No good, a rebound McQueen under the basket. Gives it off to Arnold. Princeton has a three-point lead. Arnold throws the baseline. Secunda in traffic. Flips it over to Warren. Five-footer off the glass. No good. Rebound Southridge is 6-9. Andy Knott. Knott dumps it out. Hadberg gets around Arnold. Back off side of the lane. Here's a jumper by Yoakum. And it's good. And Yoakum has 10 points. 39-38. A one-point ball game. And Dyson, the South Lord, handling the ball as he crosses the line. Goes to come up to the forward, back to Dyson. Back over to Arnold. Arnold takes a 20-footer. No good. The rebound is Jokum under the basket. Rap Southridge could go on top. It'll be Patberg handling the ball. Rick Patberg. Goes to twin brother Ron Patberg. Back in under. Up goes Jokum. It is no good and he's foul by Could have been five on Sunday for five on Jokum. Now on the official, but they might have a pretty good argument. Hard to tell. Has it kind of quick. Well, they come unglued from that foul out on Cundiff, and he got the break right there. It is 39-38 Princeton. Dyson goes to forward to Arnold. Down to McQueen, deep into the corner. Back to Dyson. Around to Cundiff. To Dyson. Arnold in the corner against the zone. To Warren. 
Inner half the lane. Beat in the corner to Arnold. Now to Dyson. In the lane. Warren, five-footer. In and out, no good. Rebound taken off by Hills. Hillsmeyer made the re rebound. Goes to Steiner. Into the corner. Or driving around. A foul on McQueen. He's waiting. Free throw. It is good. He has just tied the ball game at 39 off. And now with uh, 6.15 to go in the ball game, he can give Southbridge a one-point lead. Waiting, taking his time. Free throw. It is good. And the Raiders go on top, 40 to 39. Dyson will bring it up for Princeton, become the long guard. They'll put four men under the basket. Now to Cundiff in the free throw lane, down in traffic, throws it over in the hands of Warren. Saying he just had to give him the look. Yeah, oh boy. Wonder who won the basketball, Jeff. I know we did. We didn't win it. Well, it'll be, a, a, it'll be a habit. Yeah, there's another dollar down the drain. Here's Arnold taking the shot. Goes in under now to Warren, playing at the pivot at the baseline. Yep, shot, got it. 22 points for Warren, Rich, and he's muscling it inside, and he's playing with four fouls, and one of the guys inside with four fouls, so it's going to be his to stay in the ballgame the longest. It is Princeton on top by one. Here's Prince, uh, recovered by Southbridge. They go to Noss under the basket, wide open, and he scores. As Warren came out on the loose ball, got away from Noss, and Noss was open. They flipped it to Noss. Turned out not to be a loose ball. Now to Cundiff, as Princeton's down by one. 5.20 to go in the ball game. Arnold, Arnold comes to Dyson, back over to Arnold. To Dyson, around to Cundiff. He's liable to pull up and pump one. Now to Warren with 22, back around. Arnold in the lane, now to Dyson. Now to McQueen. Boy, the defense is really collapsing under the basket. Dyson. Well, Prince, Princeton's both brass, Naughty and Jones up shouting instruction. It's a 1-4 offense, Rich, and they're looking for the good shot. In the Warren, the ball back. The veteran ball player fires it up there, and it is no good. Rebound taken by Southridge. So they'll get a chance to increase that one-point lead. It's to Padberg. Baseline, Hillsmeyer. He fired. Got it! Hillsmeyer from the baseline and a foul on Dyson away from the ball. Probably the little guy says, take that, big fella. Free throw by Noss, no good. A rebound by his teammate. And we got a jump at the Raiders free throw line. Still a 44-41 game. Kip comes out. It's going to be owned by the Raiders. They throw in the corner. The big fella, his shot is good. And he was bumped by Kendall, but he still made it under the basket at 6-9. 46-41, a five-point ball game. 4.20 to go here. It comes to Cundiff. Cundiff back out to Dyson. Now to Arnold. Arnold looking. Back to Warren. Beautiful pass. He's open under the basket. Boy, a good head fake by Arnold. And it got the big 6-9 North out of position. Warren scores on the glass underneath. Cutting the lead to three. Top of the post. Into the corner to Hillsmeyer. Back to Patberg. Patberg back to Patberg. The twin under the big guy. He's open. Up. Got it. Six Three. foot nine. And the queen is no match for him. Nobody can uh, match with Northridge. He's six foot nine. And uh, there is no basket. It is 46-43. A three-point ball game for the Raiders. Three and a half minutes to go in the ball game. Over to Arnold. He's not taking a long one yet. Back out, it comes to McQueen. In under to Warren. Five-foot jumper. No good. Rebound taken by Patberg. The five-tenner. He's picked up by Cundiff. He dumps it off to his brother. Patberg right back to it. Both coaches up in front of the bench. Turning jumper by Steiner. Off the iron. No good. A rebound, Arnold. Throws it off to Cundiff. Cundiff in the lane. Good move. Three minutes to go in the ball game. Todd Cundiff. As the players walk back and forth, try to shake him up, but he's cool. Free throw is up. It is good. Five points in the game for Todd Cundiff. He has hit three free throws and one basket. A two-point game. It is up. Good. A one-point game. 46 to 45. Three minutes to go here in this ball game. A packed house watching the activity. The Patberg twins out front. They go in under. Back to Patberg. They're going to set on it a while. Leading by one, 46 to 45. 
250. Into the corner. It appears it's a cat and mouse ball game. I've got it. We'll spread it out. You come and get it. They're on him. Over to Pat Burke. We're talking about Rick. Into Ron. Back over to Rick. To Hillsman. They've spread it out on a one-point ball game. Two and a half minutes to go in the ball game. The Raiders lead the Tigers by one. Pass off in the corner. To Park. To Pat Burke. To Pat Burke. 225 to go. Steiner back out. They'll probably match up and go man to man. Here's Dyson reaching in, committing a foul on Ron Steiner at two. Well, they can. A timeout's going to. Football game. Visit Mr. Gaddy's or call for free delivery in the Princeton area. 386 1040. Mr. Gaddy's West Broadway in Princeton, Indiana. The best pizza. Steiner to the free throw line. He's a left handed player. It is up. It is good. And it becomes a 47-45 ball game. Steiner again will have another one. On its way. It is good. A couple of bounces and it's good. 48-45. Princeton now against the zone press. Arnold dumps it over to Dyson. Dyson back to Arnold. Back to Dyson. A couple of minutes to go in this ball game, and Princeton's down by three. Arnold around. Arnold can't get the shot. Now to Dyson. Somebody's going to have to throw it up here. Now to Cundiff. He can do it. Here's a five-footer. It is good. Cundiff hit it lane. That'll give him eight points. 48-47. He cuts it to one. And I'll tell you what, pressure does not bother number 15. It comes around the horn to Patberg. To Park. Back to Patberg. Now to Park. Somebody will be committing a foul. Kind of does a little bumping out front. No foul call. Arnold's out on Pat Burke. Again, kind of goes to Pat Burke. Princeton's going to have to do some pressuring defense because they're down by one and they're setting on the ball. Into the forward to Hillsmeyer. Now to Pat Burke. Under the basket. Oh, oh, by Dyson. Oh, great, 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 great steal by Dyson. He anticipated well. Now Princeton down by one, needing a basket with a minute five to go. It's to Dyson. They'll go to Cundiff, I'm sure, or Warren underneath. Dyson, now to Cundiff. Back to Dyson. Well, Richard, give him that outside shot. Princeton yep. just not going to take it. In the Warren, open under, he got it. Tigers on top by one. 26 points, Rich, for Joe Warren, and he just worked for the basket. Southridge, the defense just slacked off of Joe, and he got the good pass by Cundiff. 49-48, Princeton. Now the pressure's on the Raiders. Hillsman from the corner doesn't take it. Clear across court, 35 seconds to go. Here's the jump shot, Patberg, no good. Warren tips it over to McQueen. Tigers have the ball in the lead of one. Can they win the opening ball game? Jim Jones will take the timeout. He fouled! Situation that is second to none. Nine, free throw, good by Arnold. And Roger told us that he thinks it might have been the Malin boy. First basket, or first point for Arnold Rich, and it could have come at a better time. Puts this Tiger ball club up by two, 50 to 48, with 25 seconds to go. Free throw, good. A three-point lead for Princeton. 51-48. Now the pressure's on the Raiders. Down they come. Off in the forward. Patrick, 20-footer. It is no good. A big rebound, McQueen. McQueen gets it over to Dyson. Now this. Who will commit the foul? Arnold throws long under the basket. Kind of, but they're against Wood Memorial, who has won their opener, 51-49. Here's Arnold's free throw. No good. Rebound Warren back to Arnold. Ten seconds. They're going after him. Arnold dumps it off to McQueen. Six seconds. Over to Dyson. Back cross court to Kunda. Two seconds. And he's fouled with one second to go. Park. Commit the game. Looks for number nine here. It is no good off the iron. He'll have another one. Again, Kunda fires it up. Good. Nine points for Kunda. There's one second to go in the game. Southridge throws it in. It's all over. And the Tigers win their opening ball game of the season, 52 to 48. The coaches meet at the half line. The players also meet at the half line. And the packed house here tonight.